Have you ever passed up on a cigar because its dark wrapper had led you to believe that it will be too strong for your taste? The truth is that the color of the wrapper is very deceiving when it comes to the strength of the cigar. In fact, there are many other elements that can impact a cigar's flavor and strength. And it is important to understand them if you want to find the perfect smoke. In this video, I will explore the complex interplay of factors that determine the cigar's strength and flavors so that you can find the perfect smoke no matter what the color of the wrapper is. To do this, I am going to start with which leaf is used as a cigar wrapper. The cigar wrapper is normally made from the thinner and more delicate leaves of the tobacco plant. These are normally the seco leaves. They are generally lighter in color than the ligero leaves and they are prized for the elasticity and ability to wrap tightly around the cigar filler. Because the seco leaves are located near the top of the tobacco plant, they're exposed to the sunlight, which helps them develop the desired color, texture, and aroma. In contrast, the lower leaves of the tobacco plant are larger and thicker, and they're often used for the filler and the binder of a cigar. The wrapper leaves are carefully selected and cared for. From the moment they're in the plant, the way that they're picked, fermented, to then have them carefully hand rolled around a binder and a filler to create a beautiful finished cigar. Plants are green. And if you have seen pictures or personally seen a tobacco plant, then you know that the, the leaves are green and the whole plant is green. So how do they naturally turn these green leaves into all of the cigar wrapper colors that we now see? Well, the color of a cigar wrapper is primarily determined by the amount of sunlight and fermentation time that the tobacco leaf received during the curing and growing process. Darker cigar wrappers are typically produced by exposing the tobacco leaf to more sunlight and fermenting them for a longer period, which can result in a richer, bolder flavor. However, it is not always the case. The type of tobacco used in the wrapper, as well as the growing conditions and harvesting methods, can also have an impact on the wrapper color. In some cases, wrapper leaves may be artificially darkened through a process known as Maduro fermentation. Understanding the nuances of the wrapper color and how it is determined can help you better appreciate the variety and complexity of the cigar world. Cigar making is an art form that requires an expert understanding of tobacco and the blending process. The strength of a cigar is not determined by one factor, but rather a complex interplay of factors. The type of tobacco used in the filler and blend, the fermentation and aging processes, and the overall composition all contribute to the strength and flavor of a cigar. Even the wrapper leaf itself can have different effects on the cigar taste and strength depending on the type of tobacco used and the fermentation process. Understanding these factors and how they all work together is crucial to selecting a cigar for your taste. While darker wrappers are often associated with fuller strength cigars, we can see that that is not always the case. There are many factors that come into play, like the way that the plant is grown, the fermentation process, and always, always pay attention to the blend because the master blender will select different leaves from different areas, different processes, different amount of time fermenting, different amount of time of the plant receiving the sunlight to create the blend that he's trying to achieve. And you will find dark cigars that are medium and you will find light cigars that are very strong, very heavy on the nicotine. I wanted to add this last point to the video because I think when it comes to cigar, taste is very subjective. Something that I find light or medium, you might find completely different. So by watching a review or reading a review, you are actually reading what that person experienced. And we are all different. We all like different things. You might have more toleration towards nicotine and you might like stronger flavors that this person that doing the review is accustomed to. So the best thing to do is really just to try. If you are looking online, it normally tells you the strength of the cigar. If you're in a shop and there's somebody there, make sure you ask them because normally they will get a specification from the brand or from the master blender telling them what strength does this cigar have. 
And if you're willing to try something that is maybe full strength, the only thing is I would say is maybe have something to eat before you try the cigar, smoke in an open place so that the smoke is not just concentrated, you know, into a, a smoke box and maybe have a, an emergency suite. I'll leave you a, a video that I've done about that over here. In case you have problems with the nicotine, you can always, you know, take a sweet to help you with your sugar levels. But yes, try. Try as much as you can because something that I don't like, you might like, and something that you like, I might not like. It has happened to me before. I smoked cigars that uh, I didn't think I was gonna like, and I've actually enjoyed them, and they're some of my favorite. And cigars that looked amazing, me, you know, stuff that I'm used to, looks, way, <laughs> looks wise, and I didn't enjoy them. So try. But anyway, if you like the style of this video, I am going to leave you my last week's video over here. I'm going to leave you a playlist over here. And if you like the video that I've done here and you want to subscribe, just tap over here. And in the meantime, don't forget to smoke less, but smoke the best. See you next time.